What were your childhood goals? Did you want to grow up to be Prime Minister, become a rock star, or were there more achievable goals, like making your own death ray? Today, I'm going to talk to you about the latter, making your own death ray. This technology was not created by some crazy scientist saying to himself they thought I was mad. It isn't even a modern futuristic invention. The first death ray was invented by one man, a man that can make water go uphill, Archimedes. Archimedes was way ahead of his time. Many of his inventions will not be rediscovered for another 1,500 years after his death. Most people at the mention of Archimedes think of an, about a naked guy running down the streets shouting Eureka. But this brilliant mathematician and inventor was so much more than his popular mythology. Picture a time before modern memory, during the Second Punic War in 218 BC. A huge Roman armada. The most powerful military in the known world sails to take the Greek fortress of Syracuse. But as the men in the crow's nest shout land ho, the fortress island begins firing. From the tops of the walls, massive hooks are launched, latching into boats full of soldiers and capsizing them. Then, as the mass sails closer, massive beams of light like some alien death ray burn a swathe through the advancing ships. Few ships out of the hundreds make it to the safety of the walls, but there is no reprieve. Massive cranes lift up claws from the watery depths, capsizing even more vessels. Then, from the walls, come, ma mass come rapid firing bolt throwers at head height, killing many more men. This relentless, four pronged defense was designed by Archimedes to shatter the Roman attackers. He successfully defended Syracuse for years of invasion. Archimedes was one of the was one of the greatest scientists in the age of the Greeks. His discoveries and, and inventions started at water displacement, which he discovered when he was just 22, all the way to the death ray. One of Archimedes' most ingenious war machines was that of the death ray. Historians have argued about the credibility of this, but in the end, a Greek scientist named Dr. Iamsus Sakis proved that the technique was credible. Archimedes used the power of the sun to light ships on fire. He used massive mirrors to concentrate heat onto parts of ships and set them alight. This spread fear through all the Roman soldiers, for there was no defence for it. Another great weapon of Archimedes was that of the Archimedes claw, which was either launched from a catapult to capsize even more to, to capsize ships, or li lifted up claws from the watery depths to flip even more vessels, hugging the walls. Another ingenious war machine of Archimedes was that the invention of, of the first machine gun. This was a clockwork weapon that fired arrows accurately and extremely fast. All these together show that Archimedes was a genius. Archimedes was also adept at things other than inventing weapons of mass destruction. He was the first to discover pi and calculus. Archimedes' most famous discovery was that of water displacement when he was just 22. He was tasked to see whether the king's crown was made of pure gold, or if the jeweller had ripped off the king. And as the story goes, when Archimedes was hopping in the bath, he discovered Archimedes' law of water displacement and shouted Eureka. It turned out the jeweller did rip off the king. The Archimedes screw is just one of his inventions still used today. This device allowed water to go uphill by using a screw-shaped pipe. Just by twisting it, water would move upwards towards the end of the device. It's also thought that Archimedes may have invented the first analog computer. This has not been proven, however, but such a device was found in the same area and era as Archimedes. Another great discovery of Archimedes was that of the lever. Archimedes had been the first Titanic of his age, but it was so large it would take hundreds of men to push into the water. So Archimedes used the leverage system to push it into the water, and came out with this famous quote, give me a place to stand and a lever long enough and I can move the world. But after years of invasion, Syracuse finally fell. Not knowing it had fallen, 
Archimedes was doing a few more equations on circles when a gruff Roman soldier marched in and tried to grab him. Archimedes, wanting to do his final equation, said to wait a bit, and then in the end, the Roman soldier ran the scientist through, killing Archimedes, the one person who came with Pi, the death ray, and many more inventions. When Syracuse fell, that was the end of the Greeks. Their learning comprehension of the universe matches our own, and they are one of the greatest civilizations of the world. Archimedes invented and discovered many things, and was one of the greatest of these great people. He discovered many things that are being widely used today. And historians believe that if Archimedes had finished his works, what we think is sci-fi would be, in fact, sci-fact. So there is no point waiting for Elon Musk, or even Gru, to invent the first death ray for you. All you need to do is study the works of Archimedes.